Is this real? Or is this? In fact, neither of these images are real. They are deep fakes, which are multimedia that have been artificially created or manipulated. Deep fakes can be used by cyber criminals to create highly realistic and convincing content to gain your trust, influence your opinions, or manipulate you to do things you wouldn't normally do. Hi everyone, I'm Cyber Sandy. Now you may be used to seeing a different host around here, but you can think of me as your trusty new partner on this journey to learn more about cybersecurity and the ways to stay safe online. Let's dive in. Joining us today is a special guest from CSA. Hi everyone, I'm Weta. Thank you for having me today. Weta is here to tell us more about deepfakes and how cyber criminals can use deepfakes to manipulate or deceive people. One of the common ways that cyber criminals use deepfake technology is to alter multimedia content. So people are shown doing or saying things that they never actually did or said. I've seen those on social media. It's those videos of famous people promoting investment opportunities but of course, they turn out to be scams. By using reputable personalities to deceive people, cyber criminals use deepfake to gain people's confidence and trick them into sharing sensitive information or making monetary transfers. Not so long ago, this would have seemed like something out of a science fiction movie. But not today. AI is evolving very quickly and deepfake technology is now more accessible than before. Unfortunately, this also makes it easier for cyber criminals to create convincing fakes and scams using Gen AI tools within a short period of time. Let me show you. Deepfake software can be used in several ways. A common type of manipulation is swapping one person's face with another as a form of impersonation. I see. But the images generated aren't always photos of real people, right? Not always. Deepfake technology can even generate a new face by pulling different features like your eyes or nose from different photos and then putting them together as a new face. With something like this, Scammers can easily create fake profile photos and then use these fake identities to run their scams. In more complex deepfakes, like the fake investment video you saw, audio can be added to videos. Deepfakes can make it look like the person is saying something entirely different. Here is an example. Try encrypting sensitive data. This means no one can access it even if that... Hi, I am Cyber Sarah. The weather at the South Pole is nice and warm today. It's not perfect, as generating the lip movements and synchronizing the audio clip is quite a complex process. But as you can see, it's quite realistic and technology is always improving. Cyber criminals are already using this technology in nefarious ways, using deep fakes to gain trust or to trick and threaten people into revealing confidential information. We have all heard the phrase, seeing is believing. Unfortunately, deep fakes are designed to exploit this. So it's more important than ever to be vigilant and not trust everything that we see and hear. It's also important to learn how to recognize deep fakes when you encounter them to avoid falling prey to the cyber criminals. And we can do it with the 3A approach. Step one, assess. You need to assess the source of the content. Is it from a trusted and verified source like an organization's website? If the content is unexpected, that is also a sign of deepfake, just like the videos of government officials asking you to invest in shady investment scams. Oh, to add to that, if the content seems unusual, such as asking you to click on suspicious links or give away your personal information, that's another sign to look out for. Step two, analyze. Look out for any discrepancies in videos, like lip movements that don't sync with the audio. Pay attention to details, like blurring of facial features or background distortions. It can be tricky to detect whether a video or image has been altered, but signs like these are cues that the content has been tampered with. Step 3. Try out authentication tools. For a start, social media platforms like Facebook and TikTok have started labelling AI-generated content. Around the world, researchers are also developing tools to help analyse suspicious media and flag if it has been digitally manipulated. Something to keep a lookout for. And that's the 3A approach. It's important to stay vigilant to be cyber safe. So keep these tips in mind if you suspect that the content you are viewing is a deep fake. Don't take instructions or requests from strangers at face value. Always remember, if in doubt, check with your friends and family and with official sources. Thank you for joining us today, Weta, and taking us through the different kinds of deep fakes. Happy to do so. That's a wrap for today. I'm Cyber Sandy, and I'll be back with more cyber tips in the next episode. See you soon.